Back. Our next guest is headlining Helium Comedy Club this week. But first, he's going to be joining us right here on the feed. Pat House is on the feed at night. Good to see you, my friend. And happy belated hey. birthday. You're like a grown adult now. Something like that. Thank you for having me, guys. I was going to mention you guys were just talking about uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, but my birthday is in between, and that's kind of the most important one, right? You kind of get shafted, though, right? Well, I do. It's the week <laughs> after uh, Halloween, so like you were just saying, it goes from like Halloween three days before my birthday, and then the day after everything is Christmas. It happens every single year. <laughs> every time. So, what do you do to celebrate your birthday then? What did you do this year? Uh, this year, I actually golfed. And then I did a show, so it was a pretty fun day. And this was the first time in my life I actually had somebody hand me a blank birthday card. A, uh, a friend was walking towards me, and as she was, she was stuffing a card into an envelope, and she said, hey, I didn't get anybody to sign this yet, but here you go. And at 37, I just got my first blank birthday card. Oh, wow. So what did you write to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I handed it back and said that needs to be completed by today. So by noon, there better be no less than 50 signatures in there. <laughs> I love it. Deadlines. Well, we can't wait to see you. You're absolutely funny. I wonder, does this stem from when you were a bartender, your bartending days and getting all those good, juicy stories? Oh, God, yeah. That's where more than half of my material comes from. I mean, not a single day goes by where I don't have to write something down because somebody says or does something stupid. So as torturous as that job was, it really led to a lot of my favorite material. And the crowds, too. I always have server and, uh, servers and bartenders in the crowds who are always like, hey, I really appreciate that stuff because they can relate to it because they're in the industry as well. So you're representing for them. And, of course, Represent. you have to talk about what we've been dealing with over the past, what, now almost two years. Corona. Oh, yeah, everybody had to adjust, right? You know what? The, I, the thing that amazed me the most last year during this whole entire pandemic, and I'm not making this up, maybe you guys remember this, but when everything shut down in like March or April of last year, the government was still pushing the 2020 census on us. Like you'd be watching the news and they'd be throwing these crazy numbers out, all the deaths and the new cases. And then at commercial break, they'd be like, hey, fill out your 2020 census. And I'm like, shouldn't we wait? <laughs> is that the I time? Mean, <laughs> an accurate I mean, count? Too soon? Too soon? Yeah, we, we would have a more accurate head count if we made that the 2022 census. You know what I mean? Oh, you Pat. Hey, it by two. you travel the country, you travel the world. How do you explain, because you're based in Philly, how do you explain Philadelphians and Philly humor? <laughs> well, I know how to make my uh, acts you know, how to do it in certain cities. And a lot of my material on the road is not about Philly. But having said that, uh, I love when I'm on the road and somebody in the crowd will be like, are you from Philly? Because they can just tell when I hit the stage by my accent. And one <laughs> time I was in Austin, Texas, and a woman grabbed me after the show and said, not just are you from Philly? She goes, are you from Delco? Oh. And I go, yes, I am. Here I am in Austin, Texas. And this woman saw me on stage and went Delco right there. <laughs> and you, she was 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> the well, Delco we can't wait shows. to see you. Helium Comedy Club, Pat House. Good to see you right here on the feed at night. Thank you, man. Have a good afternoon, guys. Thank you. You too.